So today, a uh, new tool thing, kind of a tool, I guess, accessory for a tool. Uh, so Milwaukee makes these rubber boots. Um, so this one is the 4916-2960. Um, I also got this guy, which is the 4916-2560. And I picked this one up as well. So here's what one looks like installed. This is my 3 8 stubby impact. And this one has now the rubber Milwaukee boot. These are pretty easy to put on there. Um, they keep your tools from getting beat up, uh, scratched, ruined, smashed, busted, beat up, whatever. And these are pretty expensive tools. So, I mean, a $20 little rubber boot isn't, um, you know, it's a very small portion of what you pay for the tools. Um, and it can also help keep you from, you know, maybe scratching or denting or damaging a vehicle if you're working on it. Not that... I mean, usually you're inside an engine bay, so I don't know, that's negligible at best whether or not that really helps you, but maybe it's uh, good for what you're doing. Maybe you're doing body work or something like that, and having the rubber boot can save you from scratching somebody's paint. So this one was pretty easy to install. I did it off camera. I'm gonna show you how to install the other two on camera. So we'll start off with this, which is the ratchet and the ratchet has a big hole and a small hole. So you can see, and there's a, and there's a Milwaukee logo there on the, on the big side. So what that's going to mean is that the, the big side is gonna be on the back and the little side is gonna be on the front. And what I found is that you really have to stretch these to make them fit. So it, it definitely requires you to yank on it a little bit but they seem to be really durable i i haven't you know i didn't like permanently deform the last one that i did um it went on pretty easily can use something like this uh skin wedge tool or something to kind of get under the edge if it rolls up on you make it a little bit easier to install Whatever, we'll just push it on there. All right, so there we are. This is the rubber head on the ratchet. Now, as you can see, it makes the head a little bit bigger. So if you already felt that the head was big, this is probably not the accessory for you. But there it is on the ratchet and it'll keep it from getting tore up and dinging and nicking and messing up other things. So like I said, maybe if you're using this for body work, for installing bumpers or, or working underneath fenders or different things like that, and you're worried about accidentally banging something with the head of your ratchet, could be a good option for you. I'm just using it to protect my expensive tool. So here's the, uh, this is for the mid torque. So I'm putting it on the half inch mid torque, I believe that it fits other models as well. There's a, uh, on the website, it tells you what models it fits. So here it is. Here's my mid torque gun. This is a uh, 2962. So we'll just kind of put that on there, stick the nose in. And there we are. So there's the half inch mid torque with the boot on it. Still has the Milwaukee logo, still says fuel brushless on the back of it. And this one really, I mean, I guess it makes the head a little bit bigger, but I don't think it affects the functionality of the, via, of the tool at all. So, um, you know, if you're looking to protect your nice expensive Milwaukee tools, this might be a good option. I picked these up from Obsessed Garage. I'll put links in the description. If you happen to pick them up from one of my links in the description. It helps me out. Appreciate that if you do it. Um, otherwise, you could probably get them at your local Home Depot or anywhere else Milwaukee tools happen to be sold. Thanks for watching and have a great day.